So here is my new Massey Ferguson GC1710. I just got it a month ago, brand new. But this is a 2017 model. It's got the backhoe on it. Four wheel drive, great little tractor. I've, I've got 30 hours on it now. But initially when I bought this tractor, they told me it was a 2018. The paperwork I signed said it was a 2018, so that was a whole mess I had to deal with right off the bat buying it. So it kind of put a sour taste in my mouth. Then I thought about it. They ended up refunding me some money. $1,500 Canadian. So the way I look at it is if I would have seen this on the lot, a 2017, for the price I ended up paying in the end, which was 17,500 Canadian, I still would have bought it. These are uh, the new 2019s. The list price is about 25,000. I had the one guy down at 23,500. So that's quite a bit more than I paid, like five grand more. So for, I saved $5,000 by buying a two year old model that's brand new. That's a pretty good deal for me. The only issue I've had in the 30 hours that I've owned it is this ram was already leaking oil. So I talked to you guys online a few you've had the same issue and they replaced it on warranty. So I'm gonna try and get that done. And now I gotta try to get it done through a different dealer because I don't wanna deal with the dealer that I bought this from since they kinda, I think, screwed me over. So and when I bought this tractor, I had to haul it four hours away and the seat's so wobbly that they said to put the seat belt on it and the seat belt ended up tearing the seat. They didn't care, they said it was my fault. And I had no coolant in the coolant bottle. It was on low. I don't know if some spilled out during the trip or if it was like that, because to tell you the truth, I didn't even look, look at it when I bought it. You know, you expect when you're buying a brand new tractor that all that stuff is done. This thing had like one hour on it, like it wasn't wasn't used at all. I'll have to look to see how many hours exactly, but it was definitely under five hours. I want to say one or three, somewhere around there. So just probably demoed a bit on their own yard. But yeah, other than the issues with the dealer, I love the tractor. That little hoe has tons of power. Like for its size, I'm very impressed. I was, I was scared it was gonna be too small because I really, I wanted to buy this little tractor for the backhoe and I was scared that it was gonna be too small. I couldn't really demo one because I live four hours from any dealership. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it. I also got the five foot box blade for it. Some attachments I wanna buy is maybe a snow blower. I'm in Northern Canada, so probably I'm getting the skid plate for sure. So I want to use this to get firewood and I want to get some forks on there and possibly like a, a digging edge. Oh, I'm trying to think of that one edge. Well, that one company makes that, that one cutting edge for these. And I was thinking we'll get in one of those. Yeah, love it. Might get a yard rake because I see they go for pretty cheap. Maybe a back blade. If I get the snow blower, probably won't get the back blade. If I get the black blade, I might hold off on the snow blower for a bit. We'll see. I still got to put the snow plow on my truck. So if I get the plow on my truck, I might not use the tractor to remove snow. Because I have a plow for my truck. I just have to make the bracket fit to put it on there. But yeah. If you're looking at one of these little tractors, I'm pretty happy. No issues. The only thing I don't like, too, is this roll bar here. I don't know if there's a way to make it. I wish it didn't just drop down like this and rest. I wish you could hold it up like this. I see some people, uh, tractor time with Tim there, drive around and his just sits like this. So I, I want to maybe I'll look into that more. I wish it sat like that instead of banging down on here. Look, it's already scratched there. 
and I don't drive with it on, I just drive into the garage like that. Hmm. I didn't even notice that before. But yeah, haven't got her stuck. Got her pretty deep there. She's always got out. The hoe and the bucket. Pretty hard to get her stuck, I think. I'm sure you could get it done, though. I had to use the locking diff, though, to get myself out. That sure helped. So yeah, if you're looking at one of these tractors, I wouldn't hesitate to buy one. Might hesitate to go there, though. Well, thanks for watching.